Hello everybody, Omni here again uh, with another trailer reaction for the second Kingdom Hearts trailer. Now the first one um, really raised some questions. It looks great. Um, all of the the quality of it is all great. It's what I expected with the next generation version of this game. Um, the action looks so fluid and smooth and all the character models just look like they're straight out of the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes of the previous games because you know technology wasn't quite there yet but this game's had 12 years to get to this point because the last main title Kingdom Hearts game was 12 years ago so they've had some time um, <clears throat> now the first one was great I liked it a lot. The only thing that was a little awkward that I actually didn't mention or talk about in uh, the previous video was the a lot of the scenes themselves was it seemed like it was just the voice work. There was no other uh, sound effects or anything like that thrown in, which was a little awkward. Because the dialogue itself, it's it's hammy, it's cheesy, it's it's always been like that, it's always going to be like that. It's it's just Disney and these Kingdom Hearts, uh, this Kingdom Hearts storyline about hearts, light and darkness and all that stuff. It's just going to sound like that. But it just sounded a little cheesier than normal when all you're hearing is the VA work. No background sounds, no sound effects or background music or anything like that. So... A lot of the dialogue felt a little more awkward than normal, but nothing we don't expect in these games anyway. Um, but the second trailer, um, we're going to get to now and see what, uh, apparently this one is a uh, complete, I mean, I think there's probably a couple of scenes that were shown in both, uh, but this one apparently is, a uh, shows a lot more action and more finished a more finished product from what I've heard. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this one up and check it out. <clears throat> Same uh, opening quote. All right, so we're starting with pirates. All right, we're going back to the pirates world. We got some feather textures. Sora's actually dirty fur textures on goofy okay so that's the biggest thing that bothered me about going to this world in the first game it's like we're supposed to think holy sh this looks good the detail on these characters i want to get into what i was going to talk about afterwards so we're picking up in uh the third pirates movie at world's end was that that's what it was called right makes sense because that was like a this is the third game it'd be weird to do the second pirate storyline in the third kingdom hearts game so i guess we're just skipping dead man's chest this is awesome big epic fights i love it this game's so over the top yes surprising isn't it got luxord back again in the same world we and he was introduced in mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship when said pirate offers to confabulate i am looking for a bomb they after davy jones heart or are they after the compass and here we go back to more sounds with or uh scene <laughs> more scenes with uh just the va work oh. it just looks so good and fluid dude vanitas is so awesome 
just the concept, just because, like, where uh, Roxas looks like Ventus because of their connection, but, um, he's a rip, he's a, the dark half of Ventus, so he looks like Sora, so he's, like, black-haired, gold-eyed, evil Sora. I wonder how they're gonna wrap all this up. Oh, hello. Um... I don't know how I feel about her design. I do not really like that outfit that much. And what the hell was that? God, these trailers are just leaving so many questions. Again, not 2018. Um, so what was with uh, Riku and little Riku having that little romantic moment on the beach because that just looked like a uh like a rejected clip from like a romance movie or something stared longingly into his younger self calm, calm down riku i know that's is that like the riku replica which i if i don't remember i i could have swore he was destroyed in chain of memories towards the end hmm so I'm a little confused about that for sure um uh Kyrie's haircut and that outfit not feeling it she just looks even more out of place than before like her Kingdom Hearts 2 look was just fine I know they need to update it there's been a lot of time between that game and now um but still a little much she actually looks younger to me now than she did in kingdom hearts 2 so i'm not a fan of that design but it's cool that she's uh hanging out with lee aka axel um i'm assuming after their Keyblade training with uh, Yensid. Um, but what I was going to talk about in the beginning before, you know, trailer got in the way was the thing that bothered me the most about the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean world in Kingdom Hearts 2, aside from the theme song from the movie playing every time you encountered a heartless of any kind drilled that song into your brain and you couldn't get rid of it aside from that was the fact that um when you go into these worlds most of them when they kind of just fit in they fit in like when they go to her uh coliseum they just kind of fit in they look like they fit in care like design wise uh, but when they go to like um, Halloween Town or, or um, Atlantica and they transform or put on some kind of outfit to blend in, they do. However, Sora is, in essence, a human. From another world, a human. N nonetheless. <clears throat> And then they go to this world where other humans are more hyper-realistic. But Sora still looks like a cartoon. They didn't change their outfits. They didn't do anything when they went to the Pirates world. Donald, Sora, and Goofy all looked still like cartoons. And that always bugged the crap out of me because it just implies... That Sora's not human. <laughs> or that... Um, well, then, because, like, Hercules, he's human. I mean, he's half human, but humanoid. You know what I mean. Like, they should... They, they should have made Sora look more realistic like the characters from Pirates. And... I know he's still like smooth skinned and like kind that 
flat, more flat uh, Final Fantasy pop, J-pop kind of look while he's in this world, but he has at least skin textures in this world, dirt all over him, and you can see more defined uh, hair strands for sure. Um, not all the way to hyper real, but he they gave him a pirate outfit and all of that, and you see Donald and Goofy's uh, feathers and fur uh, detailed and texture, uh, respectively, for them. Because there's you're not going to just put up <laughs> a real-world giant duck and a giant dog man walking around with a hyper-real teenager in this world. That's not anything I would have expected, obviously. But they were, the realism at least on their character models, I feel like were actually accentuated in this one, thankfully. And his outfit is more rugged and real. You see like the textures of the leather and the cracks in it and all that stuff. And like, he fit, he feels like he fits more, uh, fits in a lot more than he did as a cartoon in the first one. Or not the first one, the second game. Um, so that I really appreciate, especially with how realistic they're going for uh, imitating the actors from that movie. Like, it looks phenomenal. And I know they're using the Unreal Engine for this because they originally were going to be using their... They were going to be... Or originally, they were going to be using their own handcrafted engine for this game. And when they needed to start ramping production back up. They um, they didn't have the time to tweak it to get it ready for the timeline that they needed to get this game out. So they just threw that all away and just switched the whole game over to Unreal. And it looks great. I don't know how it would have looked if they had stuck to their original plan, but it looks great as perfect as it should be for this. Um, I'm I'm excited, no matter what. Like, the action's still fluid. It looks smooth. Uh, it's all over the place. Flashy as hell. And the boss fights, from what it uh, shows, looks <clears throat> just as over the top and crazy as some of the other ones. I know the original teaser trailer was the whole train scene fighting the rock titan from Hercules and that was just one gigantic spectacle and I know the first game it didn't start that way the first game wasn't a huge spectacle or anything like that but like two really pushed the limits and threw it into this crazy action oriented uh world and I just loved that about it because it took what Sora could do and just kind of amplified it to like um, Advent children levels of uh, ability slicing through buildings and uh, jumping off of falling rocks and stuff teleporting zipping around and all that stuff like gravity doesn't even matter <laughs> you, you just uh, you feel powerful when you're playing these games eventually like you know starting off you're not going to cause you know there's a level system so but like the stuff you pull off, it's just, it's a power trip. Um, this is supposed to wrap everything up. And I just, there's so much that's been brought up between this and the eight other spinoff games. But, or prior to this game coming out, there's just so much that they've added in in these uh, spinoffs that I don't know how they're going to reference it all or tie it all up they did say this game is supposed to tie up everybody's story because everybody that's been in a kingdom hearts game is supposed to have their appearance in this um and have their storylines wrapped up now we haven't seen any final fantasy characters yet but in an interview i was reading that um he he didn't think he was going to be putting them in there because he didn't feel like people cared about them or their involvement in this series and i was like what do you mean they were like some of the best parts of the first game. Squall's like your pseudo mentor in the first one. 
And like, it's all about helping them in the second one, saving them from uh, the heartless that are taking back over. And I'm just like, really? That's what was so great about that. Like the second game gave us Cloud and Squall fighting heartless together, quipping at each other back to back in an all out like war against these creatures. And that was one of the best things that, that was the, one of the highlights of that game to me at least because how it mixes in all these characters from different IPs and properties um, and timelines since they're from the same IP um, together and seeing them interact with each other and they're definitely the two alpha types and seeing them back to back working together but still like <laughs> you, you actually doing anything bruh Kind of was so cool to see but um <clears throat> but i guess i i don't know because i it doesn't sound like from the interview that he had any intention to add him in there and that uh he was tetsuya nomura was constantly being asked about their involvement in the third game since we haven't seen them in a while and apparently according to him it was such a huge shock to him that people's a lot of people's primary questions was whether or not we're going to see the Final Fantasy team again. And so with it in this stage, because I know a lot of the game is still being worked on. A lot of it's not finished yet. Will, will he incorporate them in? And will it be well executed or deserved? Um not deserved, um, fulfilling to see them in there if he just kind of sticks them in somewhere in the story that he already had planned out. And would that be rewarding if it doesn't live up to that or if it's just kind of shoehorned in and you can feel that it was tacked on just to appease us? I don't want that. I mean, I want to see them in there, but I want to see it done correctly and with respect for the characters and how their involvement has been up to this point. Um, cause they were a huge part of Sora's development, um, as a warrior, as a character and all that stuff. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. There's, we're supposed to be getting more of this, uh, throughout the year and up leading up until the release on January 29th. 2019 <sighs> it's been a long wait and it's still going to be a long wait well I can't think of anything else to say about it at this point but I'm really looking forward to this game really curious how they're going to wrap up everything and yeah that's it so i got a couple more of these i plan on doing uh for some games that other games that were shown off at e3 this year and um keep an eye out for those and i'll catch you all later <laughs>